What it's like to be uh, owned and traded, and um, I don't mean by a man. I mean by uh, you know professional basketball. It's it's an old system that we had in we <laughs> that we had in Hollywood, and um, you know it's still what how sports run. Um, what is it like being at the whim of someone else? Well, it's a really odd thing because you play basketball, you play a sport, any sport, professional, you know, as an amateur, and you're just playing for fun. It's all fun. It's all fun. It was fun, fun. for you. Let's just clarify. But yeah, yeah keep going. You were well, not in you know, gym class with me. It's supposed to be fun. Me. It's supposed <laughs> to be pure, and you're just playing the game. And then all of a sudden, you know, and for me, the WNBA draft in 2008, which is the year I, I graduated, was the day. It was the day after the championship game. So Stanford, we made it to the finals. We played Tennessee in the national championship game. We lost. The very next morning, I get drafted. So I didn't even have any time to even think, like, what's going on and realize that my whole life was going to change. So we have the championship game that night. The next morning, I just drive, and I go to the draft, and they're like, you're getting drafted to Minnesota. Yeah, you know, it's you're just like, it's just crazy. You're, and then... You know, you don't even have time to think, and all of a sudden you sign a contract, and you just, you basically, you know, you kind of sign your soul away a little bit, you know, in terms of, you know, you, you're, it's exciting, this is what you've lived your whole life for, but you don't really understand the business side of it, and then it be doesn't become, it's not it's not necessarily fun anymore, it's, it's a business now, and now you are expected to perform, and you are expected to do these things, and you just kind of, Forget, like, well, what am I doing? You, you lose yourself a little bit.